So Tesla just announced its next big thing. It says all of its new cars, including the Model 3, will have hardware for what it's calling full self-driving capabilities. It includes eight cameras with 360-degree viewing at up to 820 feet of distance, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and new forward-facing radar that helps see through rain, fog, and dust. Tesla says it still needs time to get all the kinks worked out before fully turning the controls over to a computer. And Tesla might want to move over because the company has some new competition in Silicon Valley. As Nightbeat's Leonard Mira shows us, you might not recognize the name, but it is about to become a major player in the electric car industry. The C Pro is already in our experience zone. So. Tesla may have just met its match, a sleek autonomous electric car from a Chinese company that's staking a claim in Silicon Valley. An open ecosystem. The company is Le Eco, and the car is La C. It was unveiled at a launch event in San Francisco today, and producer Jerry Bruckheimer checked in from England with the car, which may make an appearance in his next Transformers movie. Look at the interior. It's, it's great. I mean, you could sleep in there. Now, Le Eco is transforming Silicon Valley. The company, which has a small foothold in San Jose, plans a major U.S. expansion that could create 12,000 new jobs in Santa Clara. It's like adding another Apple computer or another Google or LinkedIn right here into uh, Silicon Valley. The company will build a new 3 million square foot research and development complex on 48 acres now used as a parking lot for Levi Stadium. The land was once owned by Yahoo and now that it has changed hands, it represents another step in the continuing evolution of Silicon Valley. It's part of a growing Chinese presence in the valley and brings competition for American companies to their own turf. The company is a major player in TVs and smartphones. It has a movie studio and a streaming online service. Many people would say, oh, that's bad for Silicon Valley, but it's actually good because competition breeds innovation. Leico has already bought Irvine-based Vizio TV, and although it may not be a household name in the U.S. yet, Leico plans to be and in a big way. In Santa Clara, Len Ramirez for the Night Beat.